to this particular image I'm going to add a new layer by clicking here make sure that the background is white and click OK and there you can see I have the new layer which I'm going to select and move down so we have the photograph in view ensuring I've got this particular layer selected I'm going to come to where it says layer come down here to where it says scale layer and then come into this particular region and click on those chains to break the chain and within here I'm going to say divide by two and then click scale and you can see the image has been scaled but only the width of the image has been scaled not the height consequently you can see that the image is distorted I'll now do control Z to undo that particular scaling I'm going to come back to layer again I'm going to come here to scale layer and I'm going to break the chains again and now I'm going to divide by two here and then say scale and what you can see the height has been scaled not the actual width we have just seen two ways to scale the image we can scale the height independently we can scale the width independently and we do this by breaking the chain as we showed in the video a moment ago the scaling we applied in both cases was using the division we divided by two so we actually reduced the width by two and then we reduced the height by two and of course it's important to realize that the symbol for division in GIMP is this one here this is what we press on the keyboard when we wish to divide I'll hit Control Z to undo that particular scaling we'll now come back to layer we'll come down to scale layer we're presented with this and I'm going to put divide by 2 in here and then click in here and you can see both of these numbers have changed now the reason both of the numbers have changed is simply because this chain is now linked it isn't broken we'll now click on scale and we'll see what happens to the actual image well we can see it's been scaled in both the height and the width by selecting this move tool I'm going to move the image to the top left corner of the background and I want it to be exactly in that position to the actual pixel so I'm trying to position it and I'm not quite sure whether it's there so I won't bother doing it this way I'll just put it back here for the time being a more accurate way of positioning is to come to view and click on snap to canvas edge as you can see here making sure I got this move tool selected you now move the image close to the edge and when you get close to the edge it snaps it to both the top and the side as you saw there to the actual pixel right I've closed that lot of work down and now I'm going to come here and I'm going to click on open layers that's important open layers and I'm going to select these photographs here by holding the control key down as I do so then I click on open and if you look in this region you can see all of those images have been loaded into the layers I'll now click here for a new layer making sure I've got white selected and I'll get a layer here and I'm simply going to select it and move it down to the bottom of the stack of layers I'm now going to click on the eye of these three here and now I'm going to actually select this particular layer then I'm going to come across the layer go to scale layer and I'm going to scale this by two make sure the link is closed don't unbreak the link and then you get the image as you can see here scaled by two then I'm going to click on click to canvas edge and then I'm going to move this and position it in the top left corner now I'm going to click on the eye of this one bring it into view and select it and then I'm going to do the same here I'm going to go to scale layer divide it by two and then click on scale and then I'm going to move this one to the top right corner and it'll snap to the edges as you saw there now I'm going to click on the eye of the next layer select that particular layer go to layers and scale this by two click on scale and then I'm going to position that to the bottom left corner and it will automatically click into space then I'm going to do the same with the next layer divide that by two scale it and move that to the bottom right as you can see there now we've got everything positioned we'll come to image and we'll come here to flatten image and now we can see we end up with just one layer we'll then come across to select all then we'll come to select again choose border type into here an appropriate number for the size of the image click OK and you can see a border has been selected around choose the bucket swap the colors choose fill whole selection 
and click in there and we can see we now have a white border we now go back to select select all again go back again to select come down here to border and type into here a different number this time 10 click OK swap these colors round and then click here and then go back to select and say none and you can see we've given the whole image a black outline we'll now choose the text tool draw into this particular area change this to 200 and now we'll actually start typing in the title to this particular image here once the text is entered select it all click on this color swab here and change the color to white and click OK we can now see we have white text choose the text layer come to filters come down to where it says light and shadow come to drop shadow change this number to 10 this one to 10 this to 30 and then click OK and you can see we have a drop shadow then we'll merge down so we only have the one layer with the text choose the move tool and move the text to the position you prefer then you can come here to view go on to zoom and click fit image in window and there you can see the finished image with the four views of the chateau and appropriately labeled check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the youtube channel and get an automatic update every time i upload a new video also consider subscribing to the google plus circle that relates to these videos